What is up, YouTube? It's Garth Project back from the video. Today, we are going to be answering the question whether or not Showdown is worth grinding. So, basically, what you get from Showdown is if, like, you watched the uh, last video I posted, you don't really get that much from the Legend Packs, but if you are grinding Showdown, well, I always suggest that every season that you grind to Legend Tier, it takes, like, two days. But, yeah, grinding to Legend Tier really gives you at least something. Instead of just, like, getting, like, a bum... I'm seeing rookie pack, which is kind of terrible, basically. But so basically, grind showdown. If you are going to grind showdown, you should like grind it in between stuff. Like, if you're like close to top 10k, you should get to top 10k. If you're close to top 5k, you should get to top 5k. If you're close to top 2500, then you should get to 2500. If you're close to top 1k, you should get to top 1k. Me personally, this season, since the I was pretty much done with the uh, what's the name resolutions promo. Since I already got, what's his name, Luke, Nicole Jokic, who's actually very good. And Jamal Murray, who, actually, who I actually sold for coins. Uh, I don't really need to really grind resolution anymore, so I might as well just thought I'll just grind straight down. Basically, I'm just going to be grinding for top 1k. And I'll just run to get on leaderboard, so. If we look at the leaderboards. I might try to stay on it for like the whole season. For really like basically just one week. But if you look at the leaderboards, 190, there I am right there. You can scout my team probably if I'm still there by the end of the period where I'm posting this video and by the time you're watching it. But as of right now, since they made the showdown rewards just whatever this is, the top 1,000 rewards, showdown hasn't been worth grinding, unfortunately. And I don't know how this exactly works. I actually went down two ranks. No, no, I didn't. But I don't know how this actually works with the jersey. So placing in top 500, top 2500, is that a chance or what? I don't know. Because even if you look in the news, they don't really tell you really much anything. But I think that these are different like tiers, like 2500. And then there's, uh, let's see. Actually, it's right there. Top 2500, top 1K, and then top 100. So I'm guessing that those are the three different rewards. But... The thing is, what else can you grind? So basically, if you're not grinding showdown, uh, of course I was again I was just getting the top, get not getting the top. Well, reading you're like if you're close to something, then going for it then, and getting to NBA legend for the legend pack. But if you're not grinding showdown, you should. If I were you, I would be grinding. If I haven't gonna be at elevate, I would go for elevate. If you haven't gotten all the players that you want. And they're probably going to be adding more players in the future, maybe. But based on the way that they gave up on the other promo, I don't know. Which kind of sucks about this season. The Masters have been not there at all. But then grinding impact is kind of worth it. And then, of course, grinding the events when they come out daily. Like Flashback. Even though Flashback isn't that worth it. Because the last Flashback player... Who was the last Flashback player? Actually, I don't remember. It was Zach Levine. And these flashback players haven't been that great lately. Unless you like you're looking for like a boost. But maybe they are become great out of nowhere. So But definitely you probably want to complete your daily beats events. Steal. Even though for get loose and stuff. And for the overall NBA master, they just completely gave up on, it, which is completely ridiculous, by the way. And I need to tell you if I get loose wins, so even if they didn't give up on, them, I would not have enough. But I hope that they end up bringing the Joel and B master back. Because there's nothing here for you to grind for, actually, for the mobile, whole mobile master thing. Maybe you're just, like, waiting. I don't know. And, the, of course, the Road to MVP Harden campaign. There's, I'm 3463 on it because they have not released the last part of the event. It just says coming soon. It's been coming soon for how long now? But definitely, you should complete these first win events because they can just get some free elites. Yeah, so if I were you, that's what I'll be grinding. So if you're not grinding showdown, I would say at least get the NBA legend. And then get to the next tier of like the legend tier, basically. Then after that, you want to go in here and do this event. And then you want to do this event. And then of course, every day you want to do this event. And they make it rain if it's available that day. So, and then you want to go to day beats again. Or you want to go to campaigns. If you're not grinding the uh, resolution campaign right now. I recommend going to the... What? What happened? Apparently, I just went back to the home screen. 
I would recommend playing. I, I can't click on them. What the heck? This is ridiculous. I recommend playing these events but since I can't click on them. Unless you. Unless I do that, I can't click on the last events. You can. Oh, there it is. Okay. All right. But yeah, I would recommend playing those to the first win if, you, if you're already done with that because then you can just get free elites and you can potentially actually build another master because there's is like a whole week left but after that i would say play the elevate if you haven't already completed or you want to play more just in case there's a new master that comes out then after that i would just say impact is probably the best event after that because you can get some pretty decent players honestly so if we go over to impact real quick Every week you can get a pretty high overall player. As of right now, apparently I'm going for Gordon Hayward, who is the small four, which I do not need. Why am I doing this? But as you can see, you can get a impact Stephen Curry. You can get like, I believe it's like you can get five impact set tokens per day if you're trying and you're grinding the event. But yeah, that's going to be the end of the video. Let me know down in the comment section if there's anything else worth grinding if you're not grinding the promo. But yeah, if you enjoyed the video, drop a like, subscribe if you guys are new. Of course, you should also play the game of the day tokens in order to get these game of the week players potentially. I personally only have one. I wasn't playing them before. And also, if you play all of them for a the whole week, then you'll get a free token. But yeah, that's going to be the end of the video. If you enjoyed the video, drop a like. Also, down in the comment section, let me know how you get this because I have no idea how you get it. All showdown, division awards, packs now. Oh. Oh, wait, what? Chance and exclusive. Oh, that's how you get it then. All right. But yeah, that's going to be the end of the video. If you enjoyed the video, drop a like. Subscribe. If you guys can let me know down in the comment section if you guys are playing Showdown or what you're grinding right now. And uh, peace. Herbal location if you want to. Did I say drop a like? Yeah, peace out.